Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, trend update, Mosul Dam collapse. Clock is ticking. We are at uh, December 30th, 2016. Uh, scripture reference is out of Nahum, uh, chapter 1, verse 8. But with an overflowing flood, he will make a complete end of the adversaries and will pursue his enemies into darkness. Nahum 2, verse 6, the gates of the rivers are opened and the palace is dissolved. And so what we have here is a picture and a map of the Mosul Dam up here to the north and to the west of Mosul. It's about 35 miles, roughly. And down here is the modern-day city of Mosul, Iraq. And for those of you who want to know why is Mosul, Iraq such a big deal, well, because it's ancient Nineveh. And here we are at the Nineveh ruins, and it's essentially in downtown modern-day Mosul. Now, granted, all the fighting that's taking place with uh, ISIS and Shias from Iraq, Iran, and whoever else is in there, that's, that's uh, east of this current location. But 35 miles to the north and to the west, we have the Mosul Dam, which dams up the Tigris River. And the prophet Nahum describes judgment of ancient Nineveh, or 21st century Mosul, Iraq, and it comes with a flood after a long history of bloodshed. Now, fears of the Mosul Dam collapse are on the rise again. Scientists and engineers are expressing great concern for the future of the dam. Iraqi politicians are not as concerned. They say these concerns are overblown. Now, the Italian engineering firm Trevi continues to repair the Mosul Dam. They've been on the job for six months, providing logistical work and planning. Scientific experts say Trevi has approximately 18 months to complete the work, or the dam runs a high risk of catastrophic failure. The primary problem is the foundation of the dam continues to sink. The dam was built on gypsum. So, in other words, it was built on what we make sheetrock out of very water soluble. And this is per an anonymous Trevi spokesperson. Uh, I don't know if it's a race against time, but we have the know-how and the technology to make the dam safe for the time being. And again, that's per an anonymous Trevi spokesman. Uh, they remained anonymous due to quote, safety concerns. Trevi has a $300 million contract to complete repairs for the dam on the Tigris River. Trevi is also training locals on maintenance techniques. The World Bank is providing the money and funding for the project. Trevi states more money is necessary to complete the task. Um, so there's the, con the contractor company line to the current situation on the Mosul Dam. Let's zoom in here. Now, enter Nadir Al-Ansari, and he is a professor of uh, water resources and environmental engineering at Lulea University in Sweden and a published expert on the Mosul Dam. Al-Ansari has a different opinion, and he states, No matter how much grouting and maintenance the company will do, it may expand the life of the dam, but it's just going to delay the disaster. It's just a matter of time. It will be worse than throwing a nuclear bomb on Iraq. Now, on the lake side of the dam, that would be up here on the north side of the dam, sinkholes are increasing in size and number. And the size of the sinkholes are 60 feet and larger and expanding. Some are bigger. Azam Al-Wash, he is an Iraqi environmentalist. He does not have much confidence in the repair work on the Mosul Dam. And he states, this is akin to putting a Band-Aid on a gunshot wound and pretending that everything is going to be all right. And again, that's per Azam Al-Wash, an environmentalist in Iraq. Now, there are some uh, studies out that have been released since April 2016 and they indicate a 26% collapse of the dam would be a disaster. And here's a quote from the reports. This simulation results in a very high wave of water up to 25 meters, or about 75 feet high, 
arriving at Mosul after a hundred minutes, so roughly an hour and 40 minutes later of dam breach, this water would be on Mosul. And the capital of Baghdad is reached after three, three and a half days with maximum water height of eight meters or about 24 feet and a mean of around two meters or about six feet. Flood water will destroy the infrastructure of all the cities along the Tigris banks, including Tikrit, until the water eventually stops about 700 kilometers south of the dam. And so we'll back this out and just to give you an idea how far 700 kilometers is located. So here's, here's a rock. 700 kilometers is down in this, this region. I mean, this goes all the way down through Baghdad, you know, essentially three quarters of the way down to the Persian Gulf before the water starts to run out. And here's uh, to Crete right here. This is uh, Saddam's old hangout where he used to hide. So you can see, you know, you're still talking about anywhere from a six foot to 24 foot wall of water reaching Baghdad all the way from the north in Mosul and extending all the way down in this area. I mean, so that's almost three quarters of the length of Iran. Now, the, the Iraqi government has a different take on the dam situation. Uh, the Iraqi Minister of Water Resources, Mohsin al-Shamari, told media outlets, quote, The danger is not imminent. It's far off. The danger is one in 1,000. The danger for Mosul Dam is no greater than that of other dams. Also, spokesman Mahdi Rashid of the Iraqi Minister of Water Resources stated, quote, It's stressed multiple times that the situation in the Mosul Dam is nothing to worry about. The Mosul Dam is working very naturally and grouting and additional construction and repairs are constant. So this is apparently normal uh, standard operating procedure in Iraq with dams. Now the best solution would be to build a second dam and that would cost about $2 billion, but Iraqi leaders are suspicious and do not want outside assistance. And their concern is they fear long-term Western occupation. Now the bulk of this uh, report came from uh, Al Jazeera, Dot com. Mosul Dam Collapse Worse Nuclear Bomb is the key terms links provided. Bottom line, this is a great idea by Saddam Hussein who decided to build this thing on gypsum. Solid knot. Uh, if you're interested in the topic, please feel free to check out paulthepoke.com. Uh, keywords Mosul Dam, Nineveh, Iraq. Appreciate y'all's time. Thanks for listening. Take care.